I'm writing a game engine from scratch. I spent the last few weeks adding a user interface and localization. First thing I added were buttons with an outline on hover. I also added toggles so that I can enable and disable things and radio buttons so I can select from multiple values. I also added sliders so I can quickly control things like the time of day. You'll notice I had the other UI elements hide automatically so you can really see the values you're changing. It might seem a bit early to be adding something like localization when I haven't even started working on the game yet. But things like localization, the more you put them off, the harder they are to do when you finally get to them. This is what the texture looks like that I use to render the text to the screen. This covers a whole bunch of different languages. English, Russian, French, Portuguese, Spanish, German. And this is the texture I needed to create for the Chinese language. And this is zoomed in. I can zoom out and zoom out and zoom out and zoom out. Look at all those characters. I don't even know how you begin to learn to write a language like this. And this is simplified Chinese. Traditional Chinese has even more characters than this, way more as well as graphics options. I hooked up some of the sliders to change variables in some of my test levels. In the past, I was changing all these things in the code and recompiling every time. This will be really useful going forward for tweaking things. This is what the C++ code looks like. I've worked with a lot of UI APIs over the years, Windows, Android, Mac, iPhone, I haven't liked any of them until I tried something called Swift UI. So I decided to write my UI code in a similar way using the same conventions like HStacks, VStacks. And I was able to use a C++ feature called designated initializers so I could have named parameters to the functions. I do this by using the named parameters in a structure. This allows me to send in only the parameters I need and skip all the others. If I was filling in all the parameters every time without named arguments, it would get really messy really fast. Another C++ 20 feature I got to try out, something called ranges. With ranges, I was easily able to iterate over the children of the user interface elements and filter them by whether they're enabled or not. Using the range, I can easily iterate over the enabled children without having to check whether they're enabled. In total, I have five for loops that use this range, saving four lines of code in each. So this single line of code replaces 20 lines of code further down. In my last devlog, somebody asked me, what's the hardest part of developing your own engine from scratch? I'd have to say it's the amount of work you need to put in versus the result you get on the screen. I think the user interface is a good example of that. I spent three weeks working on it just to have a few buttons and sliders. Also, it'd be really helpful for me if people could test out my game engine. I have the test levels up on itch.io. I'll put a link into the description.